Hello everybody, I wanted to try something new today. I'm using these guards, but I wanted to cut them in half for an easier application and really for more comfort for myself. I'm placing them at a super high angle from the end of my eye to the end of my eyebrow. Because my eyes are super hooded, I like to do this really high angle because it makes me feel like my eyes are more awake and alive. I'm going to start with pink berry blush scents and I'm going to put it on my little mixing palette and I'm going to add some shell glitter shadow scents. This is my favorite shadow scents to use alone. It has glitter and it has a beautiful pink color to it. So I like to mix it to add a little bit more glitter to my pink blush scents. So as you can see, I'm taking a fluffy brush and really packing that into my crease and all the way over to really frame in my hooded eyes. And as you see, I go up a little bit higher than most people because I do have hooded eyes. I want it so that whenever my eyes are open, you can see them. So here I'm moving on to highlight under my brow with Whisper Pink Shadow Scents. Now I'll be going back in with the same color as before and just taking and smudging that up slightly into my Whisper Pink really to help soften that line and again like I said with my hooded eyes to keep it a little bit higher. Here I'm using a Morph brush and Smoked Topaz Shadow Scents, my most favorite shadow scents to use on my eyebrows. This is super awesome because it dries from a cream to a powder and then is completely smudge proof. I wear this every day to fill in my brows and I have no worries of them going anywhere. So here I'm using another Morph brush and Pink Hibiscus Shimmer. This was another limited edition Shadow Sense color. It's a deep pink, so I'm going to take this and really pack it into my crease because I'm going to add some colors below that. So I really want to create the depth right in at my crease. So now I'm going to take more of the Pink Hibiscus Shimmer, another Morph brush, and Pink Opal Shimmer, which is such a beautiful shimmery pink with opal tones to it. It's a cooler shimmer, so I like to add that to the darker pink to really give it just a different level of pink. As you can see, I'm really concentrating it below the crease, right below where I cut in that pink hibiscus shimmer. Now I'm going back in with pink hibiscus shimmer and shocker, another morph brush. I really want to just intensify that crease right there. So now I want to make sure it's clean because I'm going to use this brush again with deep plum and I'm going to take this deep plum and add it to the outer corners of my eyes just in that lower part below the cut crease. I'm also going to add it to the inside of my eyes again concentrating it below that cut crease. So 
so now I'm using our newest limited edition sandstone pearl glitter with another morph brush I've already packed the color in on the left and now I'm just placing the color on the right in the center blending over into the deep plum so now I'll be taking a sharper TG brush and my pink hibiscus shimmer and one last time I'm going to really intensify and cut in that crease and really clean up all that color I did underneath. Now it's time to take these bad boys off and see what we got. So now I'll be adding another limited edition tropical orchid glitter with an old Mary Kay brush and I'm just adding it over the deep plum to give it a glittery intensity. Now it's time for liquid eyeliner. This is Cinegen's Eye Sense. What I'm doing is just following along that line and really creating an intense wing with a very, very sharp point and a very thin line across my eyelids. I will be adding eyelashes, so I don't want to make the liner too thick to take away from the color on my eyes or my eyelashes. Now I'm going to go in with pink opal shimmer again and another morph brush and I'm going to pack it right into the very center of the colors I did earlier. So now I'm going to take sandstone pearl and clean up under my eyes. I'm just taking it all the way across just to clean everything up and conceal. I'm also going to take a little bit of snow shadow scents and add a few dots to really bring out the highlight. I'm going to blend everything with, you guessed it, a morph brush. I always like to blend the natural color first and then go back and blend out the snow. So now I'm gonna take more of that deep plum and you guessed it, another morph brush. This is a skinny liner brush, but it's not as skinny as some liner brushes. So I'm gonna use it to smudge some deep plum in the inner and outer corners below as a liner. I wanted to add some tropical orchid glitter right to the center of the liner below and also take some pink opal shimmer and another morph brush and add that to the very center, making it kind of an ombre liner effect. So now I'm taking another morph brush, this one's more detailed and some Glacial Glitter Shadow Scents. This shadow is so beautiful. It's got so many different colors of glitter in it. I'm adding it right to the center to give that intense glow to my eyes and really give it that extra pop. It's time for more Pink Berry Blush Scents, this time with another Morph Liner Brush. I'm going to take this and pack this right below the liner detail we did earlier just to give it another level of depth. Now it's time to curl my lashes. I use this awesome heated eyelash curler and Amazing Lash Sense Volumizing Mascara. I usually apply one to two coats. This I'm going for a very intense look, so I might be applying more before I apply my lashes.
I'm taking Cinegence Eye Sense. This is a pencil eyeliner. It's waterproof, smudge proof. You can use in your waterline, which I prefer to use. And as you can see, I'm really packing it in there for an intense look. So it's time to add some highlight. I'm taking that glacial glitter again. I apply it on my fingers and I'm just packing it into the high points of my cheeks. Now I'm going to actually contour my nose. I'm taking some Mocha Java and again another morph brush and adding it along the sides of my nose. Then I want to make sure that I take and clean off the brush and then I'm going to blend out the Mocha Java. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to go back through with my Sandstone Pearl. This is not a shimmery formula. It's a matte, same color I used under my eyes. And I am going to pack that just on the center of my nose and blend out again with my Morph brush. And there you go, two morph brushes for perfect nose contour. Thanks so much for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and find me on Instagram and Facebook at Lips and Lash Love. Thanks, guys.